Since humans first ventured into space in the late 1950s, discovering and learning more about the cosmos has been a top priority. This includes knowing more about our solar system and the galaxy we are a part of. And then came the era when space telescopes were invented to examine distant celestial bodies. While Earth imaging satellites like weather satellites and spy satellites both gaze toward Earth, space telescopes look in a different direction. From Ariel 1 to the JWST, let's closely examine the changes NASA made and how James Webb broke cosmology in just two months. Since then, it has been proven in diverse ways that telescopes are among the most essential pieces of equipment that have launched into space. They come in various forms and sizes, and they can see a wide range of the electromagnetic spectrum, from gamma rays to radio waves. You may be astonished to know that the United Kingdom sent the first telescope into space, even though NASA had a role in constructing the first satellite telescope launched in April of 1962. Due to its status as a joint endeavour between the United States and Britain, this satellite became the first space telescope and the first international satellite. The United Kingdom was investigating solar, ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. The United States had begun a program to provide launches to ally countries performing scientific work. As part of its six investigations, Ariel 1 measured solar radiation and investigated the ionosphere, an area of the high atmosphere where charged particles congregate. Then it became a norm as Orbiting Astronomical Observatory 2 was sent into space on December 7, 1968. It stayed there for a whole month. Space-based gamma-ray experiments provided crucial data for 21st century scientists. SAS-2, or the Explorer 48, was the first gamma-ray telescope in orbit and it was launched in 1972. As astronomers saw the fantastic results these telescopes provided, they kept pushing. Their primary challenge was how the atmosphere of Earth absorbs and distorts light from far away celestial objects, making it difficult for them to be seen. They needed a space-based telescope that obtained significantly brighter, more transparent and more detailed pictures than ground-based telescopes with equivalent optics, since it is entirely above the atmosphere. The quest for more information gradually led the world into the era of the Hubble Space Telescope. This highly advanced optical observatory orbits the Earth. NASA oversaw the building of the Hubble Space Telescope, or HST, when it was approved by Congress in 1977. The telescope was named after Edwin Hubble, the lead American astronomer of the 20th century. On April 25, 1990, the Space Shuttle Discovery launched the HST into orbit. It is now around 370 miles, that's 600 kilometers, above Earth. The HST consists of the primary mirror that is 2.4 meters or 94 inches in diameter, a secondary mirror that is somewhat smaller, and a collection of recording equipment that can detect light in the visible, ultraviolet and infrared spectrums. The Wide Field Planetary Camera is one of the most critical pieces of equipment because it can capture wide field and high resolution photos of the planets and other objects in the galaxy and beyond. The resolution of this camera is intended to be 10 times higher than the highest resolution achievable with the most incredible telescope on Earth. An object 50 times fainter than what can be seen with a ground-based telescope may be captured by a faint object camera. At the same time, a spectrograph can collect information on the object's chemical makeup. Ultraviolet light from faraway objects is received by a high-resolution spectrograph. This light is otherwise blocked by Earth's atmosphere. Inadequate quality control tests by the mirror's manufacturer revealed a month after the HST's launch that the huge primary mirror had been honed to the incorrect form. Because of this optical flaw, known as spherical aberration, the mirror distorted rather than focused light. Gyroscope and solar panel malfunctions plagued the HST as well. When the telescope's optical systems and other issues were discovered, NASA sent the Space Shuttle Endeavour on a mission from December 2nd to 13th, 1993, to try to fix them. Within five spacewalks, shuttle astronauts swapped out the HST's wide-field planetary camera. 
They installed a new system with 10 small mirrors to adjust the light routes from the primary mirror to the other three scientific instruments. The mission was a resounding success. The HST quickly started functioning at peak efficiency, sending back breathtaking images of various cosmic events. The HST's gyroscopes were serviced on three separate space shuttle trips in 1997, 1999 and 2002, and additional equipment such as the near-infrared spectrometer and wide-field camera were installed in 2009. The last servicing mission for the HST was launched aboard a space shuttle to install an ultraviolet spectrograph and new camera. After a few years, the HST ushered in the James Webb Space Telescope, which will have a mirror seven times bigger. The James Webb Space Project, launched on December 25, 2021 by the United States, European and Canada space agencies, cost over $10 billion. At a distance of around 930,000 miles, that's 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, on the planet's night side, the JWST follows a lissagious path around the Sun's second Lagrangian point, with a mirror 6.5 meters, 21.3 feet in diameter, seven times bigger than that of the HST. James Webb, NASA's administrator during the Apollo program, inspired the name of this facility. James Edwin Webb, 1961 to 1968, took over as NASA chief in 1961, months before President John F. Kennedy declared America's intention to send astronauts to the moon by 1970. Astronomer Matt Bothwell of the University of Cambridge said, the JWST's capacity to gaze back and observe the earliest galaxies ever discovered at the birth of the universe is amazing beyond words. To find out where everything in the universe, including galaxies, stars, planets, and life itself originated, this is the most effective instrument ever created by humanity. The telescope represents an enormous advance in a pursuit that has lasted for thousands of years to learn about our location in the cosmos. According to Bothwell, a move forward this large rarely occurs a handful of times every century. So far, NASA, ESA, CSA and STSCI have created the most transparent and most detailed infrared picture of the early universe using Webb's deep field. It gives us a peek at the early universe. When scientists examine the individual galaxies more closely, the picture will continue to disclose more information. Regarding space telescopes, the JWST is by far the most powerful instrument ever built. It's almost half the weight of the Hubble telescope while being nearly twice as long. The massive Sun Shield stand is 22 meters by 12 meters, about the size of a tennis court. More than twice as large as Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope's gold-coated mirrors have a combined diameter of 605 centimeters. In summary, JWST will have a field of vision nearly 15 times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope. The optical telescope's primary mirror consists of 18 gold-plated beryllium mirror segments, each with six sides. As a result, the JWST can collect nearly five and a half times as much light as Hubble. The visible, ultraviolet and near-infrared spectra are all well represented in Hubble's picture collection. However, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to identify objects when it comes to long-wavelength normal red light and the mid-infrared spectrum. Thus, faint, distant, ancient celestial bodies with high redshifts will be detectable. When in use, the Webb Telescope functions best at temperatures lower than minus 223 degrees Celsius. By being so cold, it can pick up on weak infrared signals without interference from things with higher temperatures. Approximately one and a half million kilometers from our planet, it is in orbit close to the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point. The five-layer windscreen protects the vehicle from the intense rays of the Sun. The telescope has a 20-year lifespan ahead of it, though, like Hubble, it could go on longer. The next generation of astronomers is watching the photographs being released today, including students and even youngsters, according to astrophysicist and author Ezzy Pearson. People who have never seen galaxies or planets outside of a classroom 
will be fascinated by these newly published photographs and may be inspired to study astronomy. The telescope will aim at a broad list of targets to shed light on various scientific mysteries. The pictures from JWST raise their own questions and only time and the next two decades will tell us what answers they provide. What are your thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.